He's a beloved Bay Area celebrity chef who's worked in dozens of acclaimed restaurants around the world, and he's now taking those flavors to the table at his newest restaurant, Hazy's. Joining us now is three-time James Beard winner, Joey Altman. Joey, thank you so much for joining us here. Olivia, it's an honor to be with you here back at Cron. It's been 14 years since I've been on the Cron set, and Isn't this I'm crazy? just so tickled and happy to be here. <laughs> Isn't it just like a full circle moment? Uh, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, first, before we get into some of these incredible dishes, we have to talk about the restaurant where you can purchase these dishes. Your new restaurant, Hazy's, Hazy's. is amazing. We have this incredible location right on the corner of Hazy's and Octavia on the park in Hayes Valley. It is a vibrant neighborhood in San one of the most vibrant in the city. It's as if COVID never happened. It's like people are out every day. It's just, it's great. And we've got this beautiful dining room and bar that has just been so much fun to, to cook in um, and, and serve these people all these different kinds of eclectic dishes that we're making there. It's super fun. Well, why, why Hayes Valley? Why'd you choose Hayes Valley specifically? Well, I didn't choose Hayes Valley. The, the, my partners, the owners, they, they got this space uh, over a year and a half ago. It was the beloved Stax location, and uh, it was vacant for a while, and they said, well, let's, let's make something of it. And they made this beautiful, did a remodel, made a beautiful restaurant there, and that, that neighborhood is the best neighborhood in the city by, by far. And there now you can find um, your incredible restaurant. I've got this restaurant. incredible perch to, <laughs> to cook so many interesting different styles of dishes. Yes. Very eclectic. Like, the first dish here is uh, my Mexican Jewish mashup. I'm Jewish, my wife is Mexican, and this is the guacamole on the hummus. So it's hummus and guac, two favorite dish, dips from each place. Yes. And I serve it with a, uh, a Israeli flatbread and as well as tortilla chips. But the, the kicker here is we've got dill, Calabrian chili oil, and then right before we send it out, we hit it with fresh grated horseradish. Oh, and that wow. just gives it this really delicious <laughs> kick. That's you know, horseradish. That's, this is horseradish. This is a small one. They can get pretty big. Oh, my goodness. So, so can I try? Please do. I'm going to first start, and, and this is... So you just go dredge it through the whole thing. You get so a little bit of everything. You get okay, a little bit so of everything. You get a little bit of everything. There you just go. Just like that. Beautiful. And well done. And give it one nice taste. Mmm. All those different flavors and textures. I, th I just think it's I'm super not going to lie, Joey. When I hear... Hummus, guacamole, I think no way that those two flavors combine, but they absolutely, even though you can taste both flavors, they mix so well. Yeah, you they wouldn't do. expect it's sort that. Of, I cook like gra animals. You know, remember the clothing, gra animals, you can mix and match. That's how all my food is. You can mix and match. I love how this is combined, like your heritage, your wife's heritage. Yeah. Now, this was delicious. Let's, let's go to this black dish here. Okay, so this is a really fun dish. This is our tuna uh, pokey tostada with wontons, and instead of Eat it, picking up and trying to eat it like that, what I tell people to do is we, we just kind of smash it up like that. Ah, okay, so you and take the fork and smash you it. You smash it up and then we take a little bit of this house-made chili crisp, which is this delicious mixture of Sichuan peppercorn, chilies, and fried garlic, and then... Uh, and how spicy is it? It's a little spicy, I have so to ask. take a. It's pretty spicy, <laughs> you know. Go big or go home is my my saying in okay, the kitchen. Okay, so do I just take just a, bite? a little bite of every, you know, just get a little get little, a little taste. A little bit of everything. There okay, you go. Okay, so I got a little bit of everything there here. There you go. Oh, making a mess over here. It's all good. Mmm. Okay, texture. I I taste a little crispy. Right. A little spicy and a little sweet. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything going mm -hmm. on. I really, really like this sauce. It gives it a very, it kind of wakes up the flavors it, a little bit. It wakes up something. Mm, it definitely <laughs> wakes up something. That is delicious. Yeah. I actually think this one's my favorite so far. Okay. Let's try this one now. So this is our house-made ricotta mm -hmm. that I whip with some goat cheese. And then we put the summer's best heirloom tomatoes, some sauteed corn with Aleppo uh, chili pepper and basil pesto and some micro basil. And then another kicker is we take these freeze dried worms and they're not, they're not worms. <laughs> I was gonna say, you're about to have me try worms on the, live television. This is puffed wild rice. Okay. And again, for me, the textures, you've got this soft creamy cheese, these really delicious, moist, juicy, plump tomatoes, mm -hmm. and then the, the crunchy corn and then the crisp uh, uh, fried or puffed rice just gives it another texture that is, I just think, and a lot of fun. And do I just dive in? Just again? dive in. Kind of like this? Like so I just... the way these dishes eat, every bite is going to be a little different because you're going to land on something, another yes. texture, oh. another combination, another. So I have culinary or palate ADD. 
<laughs> so if I have the same bite twice, I get bored. Okay. So I okay. like to design my my dishes that you're never going to get bored. Okay. Well, here's cheers to not getting bored with cheers our food choices, right? Bon appetit. Mmm. Mmm. Like you said, ooh, okay, so this is very rich and creamy. Right. Mm-hmm. But you get the crunch from the rice, and the tomato is just fresh. Yes, yeah, You throw that fresh. in there, so you get that mixture of creamy but fresh, and you get the crunch. Yes. Absolutely delicious. Oh, my goodness. Joey. Chef Joey, you're an incredible chef. Thank you so much for sharing some of the, the dishes that they can catch at Hazy's here in San Francisco. We appreciate it. It has been my pleasure and honor to, to bring this to you here in the studio. And I hope next time you enjoy these, it'll be in our dining room at Hazy's. Absolutely. I'm going to take you up on that. Okay, good. To learn more about Joey or Hazy's on Hayes, we'll have a link on our website at liveinthebay.tv.